Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the execution sentence versus final reckoning kind of debate or confusion that's going on this week. Um, I made my pre-patch uh, guide earlier this week, and in it, I even said, as I got to the Mythic Plus part of, of the talents, that this is going to cause some confusion. It definitely has. I've seen this pop up a lot of places. Um, and I know I addressed it a little bit in the video, but the reality is I could not fully address it in the video because let's face it, my guide videos are already long enough and to get to the complexities of why this is the case, um, you know, can take a bit of time like this video might, right? So, um, basically, you know, just like I said in the guide video, execution sentence on single packs in Mythic Plus is going to be good. And if you're doing lots of large pulls, large pull into large pull into boss into large pull into large pull into boss that kind of play style then final reckoning is going to be better for you and that's why i said in the video and i think a lot of people can kind of figure it out from there um but let's let's just actually break it down here um a little bit more specifically so um why why is this even the case right so final reckoning uh got nerfed for the amount of damage it does or enhances your divine storms basically uh, execution sense got nerfed as well by the amount of damage that gets funneled into it the amount of damage that gets funneled into it and then hits the target uh, that final number is lower so they both got nerfed but of course the way final reckoning works it just kind of um, it almost nerfed it a bit more because at least the execution sense is still doing something even when you're AOEing, it's still doing something to your main target uh, whereas the final reckoning all of that damage is just nerfed, right? It's it, it's it's kind of hard to explain because they're both nerfed, but it basically one is slightly nerfed more than the other. <laughs> it would, might be a better way to put it. And so when you're pulling one pack at a time, as long as your execution sentence is getting off, um, all those little bursts, extra bursts of single target damage in all those pulls one pack at a time is going to kind of equal out with that extra divine storm damage that you're getting from the final reckoning hitting plus the actual damage of the Final Reckoning AoE as well. And then, of course, on the boss, having a bit more boss damage, even though Final Reckoning isn't um, awful, like it's not a huge difference, but it's a clear difference, right? Just in the just as in, in the pack, right? So the, the best way you can do this is if you're in a dungeon with another Paladin and play the opposite one as them. So if you're pulling one pack at a time, you're the Final Reckoning guy and you have an Execution Sentence guy, you'll notice that even on the one pack that you'll probably beat them most of the time, especially if your Final Reckoning is up for that pull. You're going to beat them most of the time on the pull, but then they're going to beat you on every single boss, right? And if you just kind of average that stuff out, it all kind of averages out pretty close to each other, right? If you're both playing pretty well. Uh, all that stuff's just going to kind of average out. And then you'll also notice on the pulls where you don't have your Final Reckoning ready, <laughs> you're going to... Uh, you know, that person with the ES might even do more damage than you because they have that extra, a little bit extra damage. All this stuff matters on your key level as well. Uh, if you're doing lower keys, but you have a lot of gear because you're just farming aspect crests, right? Your execution sense might not actually hit. I was playing with another rep paladin who was doing ES and because I was doing so much AOE damage, <laughs> I was consistently killing the packs. There was no like, in, in Algothar Academy, there's very few Lieutenant mobs. Um, and the packs were dying basically before. I assume he had uh, Executioner's Will on. And things kept dying for this poor guy before his execution sentence could even hit. And so I felt I felt kind of bad for that. But obviously then I destroyed him in damage. But that was mostly because of that. Stuff was just dying too fast in a plus 8. And, and, and that is another element of it though that I wanted to talk about. Is uh, doing a, a certain level of key, right? So one thing, you, if you're doing too low of keys and using Final Reckoning... Even if you are doing big pulls, the big pull might only last 30 seconds. And then you go into a next pull and you don't have your final reckoning, right? And so that that kind of feels bad too. So basically if you're if you're way over geared, then it is going to be like uh, a problem. And then if you get into the right amount, so like your gear level matches your or your gear level gets closer to matching the key level, right? Uh, then all of a sudden, if you're doing a big pull, the big pull is going to take closer to a minute long. And then, like I said, if you do big pull in the big pull, you're getting that final reckoning off each time, right? Um, 
the other problem, uh, and then with, when we talk about execution sentence, again, if you're doing too low a keys, your execution sentence are not going to hit. If you're doing a keys that are even slightly too low for you to where the final reckoning is hitting every time, the execution sentence still might hit, not hit if you have on executioner as well. Now, when you get to a high enough key level, then your execution sentence is always going to hit. So if you're pushing keys and stuff like that, you're, you're not going to have to worry too much about your execution sentence not going through. So you're going to have that reliable damage and you're going to be able to keep up with the final reckoning more consistently if you are doing higher keys, right? Um, and this is, this is going to be more profound in like a tyrannical versus fortified, right? Because the boss is going to take longer plus you're doing a high key. So if you're doing like a plus 15 tyrannical, uh, your execution sentence is going to get even more value uh, in theory as long as you're doing everything correctly in that dungeon. However, of course, if you're still doing big pulls in the dungeon because you have like a set team or whatever, or you know you just have really good players in the group, and you're still doing big pulls, once again, the final reckoning is going to be really good for those big AOE pulls still, and you're and it's going to be up for basically every single pull because that's when you do when you do pulls kind of like correctly or in the most efficient way possible, it's kind of going to line up for you to continually have your cooldowns up for each pull. That's kind of how the pulls are designed. You know, people go through, make the routes on the Mythic Plus, and they're kind of designed for you to have uh, your your cooldowns back up, essentially, right, uh, for each pull. And so uh, that that's kind of how uh, that's kind of how I would view that one. Uh, and so the, there's pacing of the dungeon, basically. Is, is the, the overall point I'm getting at here is that there's pacing of the dungeon that also matters as well. So it's definitely a nuanced thing. Uh, just like I said in the video, uh, if, if you just like playing Execution Sentence, it's perfectly reasonable to play Execution Sentence in Mythic Plus. Um, and if you are only pulling one pack at a time, I mean, there's there's some pulls where you only pull, if you're in a pug or whatever, they might only pull like three mobs at a time, right? I mean, that's a great time to have Execution Sentence, especially if one of them is a Lieutenant mob. Um, so if you're pulling really slow, Execution Sentence is always going to be a solid choice. And the only time it's not a solid choice is if you are pulling big. That being said, like I said, like I said, uh, Final Reckoning is also just very close to it anyways. So if you just like the play style better of playing Final Reckoning, even if you're pulling one pack at a time, you can still play Final Reckoning. Now, me personally, again, I don't like to care, compare myself against other rats that I'm just random people that I'm playing with because I don't want to just crap on somebody random. But the reality is... I do I do really good dungeon DPS. I, I just I don't know. I have a different personality than when I'm in my raids. So when I'm in a raid, I'm really worried about doing the mechanics perfectly. And don't and in Mythic Plus, I still do my interrupts and I still do stuff like that. But like in a raid, I'm more worried about okay, maybe I have to shoot an off heal. Maybe I need to bop somebody. Uh, oh crap, someone's about to die. I'm going to sacrifice them. And I still do that stuff in Mythic Plus, but in Mythic Plus, I more do it as when I see a, like a trend happening. Oh, my healer keeps almost dying, so I'm, now I'm going to keep in mind that I might have to put sack on him, right? But if I'm not seeing that happen, then I'm not going to worry about it, essentially. It's basically if I see a pattern of it, and then I start to react to that pattern that I'm seeing. But in Mythic Plus, I, I, I focus very high on damage. And so... If another red's not doing that, that's why I don't like want to compare myself against them. Now I've only lost in damage uh, to one to one rat so far. I've done like six or seven dungeons this week with other rat paladins. I've I've tried to get into kind of groups where I already have a rat paladin to see, and I've only lost to one doing execution sentence, and they were four or five item levels higher than me, um, and it was only by one thousand <laughs> DPS that I lost by. And it was, uh, there was also a huge anomaly with our, uh, with their uh, Wake of Ashes damage that crit like 53% of the time. And my Wake of Ashes only crit 20% of the time, uh, which amounted to a 20 million damage difference, which was just a huge anomaly. I, I couldn't believe that. But I did want to look into it because, you know, it was the only time that I was lower damage. Every other time, even pulling one pack at a time, Final Reckoning keeps right up. Some of the players I have played with, I don't know their skill level, but they were, you know, fully geared. Like I said, item levels higher than me. And, you know, uh, they they uh, most of them have been playing Execution Sense, I assume because of, like, the Wildhead Guide and stuff like that. But I want you to know that if you enjoy Final Reckoning more, no matter how they're pulling, um, the only time Final Reckoning wouldn't be good is if you're literally going through the dungeon so fast that but pulling one pack at a time, basically, right? That 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 makes final reckoning kind of bad. So you're you're blowing through the dungeon because you're probably overgeared for it, but you're still pulling safely just because maybe that's the way your tank likes to pull or whatever. 
uh, maybe it's a friend or something like that, then Final Reckoning is not going to be so good. But if, you, if you're just kind of like in a normal pug group, I do pugs all the time. So when I say normal pug group, I assume everyone's having a similar experience to me out of the probably thousands of pugs I did this <laughs> expansion. Um, if you're just kind of going at a normal pug rate, um, a normal pug pulls and stuff like that, Final Reckoning is going to be at least kind of equal to Execution Sentence, right? The worst case scenario is that it's kind of equal. And the best case scenario is that you do big pulls and it's more. So uh, there's definitely more reward for playing Final Reckoning, in my opinion. And there's very little to lose. So if you like the play style of Final Reckoning in this pre-patch, play Final Reckoning. If you like the play style of Execution Sentence better in Mythic Plus, uh, then play uh, Execution Sentence. It's also worth noting that, you know, if we're pulling one pack at a time anyways, then there's also reasons to play Templar, which is more single target focused uh, and cleave focus in the actual war within as well. So you have like that option of play style too. At the same time, when does Herald actually get good? Herald of the Sun, Hero Talents get good in AoE when you pull tons of things. <laughs> and so it's kind of the same thing as Final Reckoning. So both things kind of lend themselves to each other. It's on play style, it's on cadence of the dungeon. Um, so like your personal preference play style, the cadence of the dungeon, and then of course, you know, how the play style of your group or of your tank, are you pulling big or not? Uh, that's the other thing that matters a lot too. And I, in my opinion for, for, I'll end on this. What I think is important in a pug and mythic plus is staying alive, lowering the amount of wipes, uh, possibly. Right. Uh, cause it, it, you're bound to have a wipe or two if you're doing a big enough key in a pug and, uh, one way you could do that is by doing your interrupts, you know, protecting the group, doing everything that you're supposed to do, right? Uh, but the other way you can do that is kill stuff quick, right? Uh, less interrupts need to happen if the mobs die quicker. And so what I would say is if you're doing even one giant pull with like bloodlust, right? Uh, I always think back, I can't remember what uh, what the name of the dungeon is, the mega dungeon from Shadowlands. Um the one half of it had that huge area with murlocs or whatever before you went into like a Titan facility cave or something like that. Uh, and you would, and even in pugs, you would pull like four or five groups of these murlocs, right? And then you would plop bloodlust and you would just try to kill it all down. You try to interrupt these certain mobs uh, that did like a heal or something like that or a totem or you had to kill a totem. I remember that as well in that murloc pull. So anytime where you're gathering a bunch of stuff on the first pull and popping bloodlust, Having the final reckoning build is probably the best way to go uh, for that entire dungeon because you're going to do so much damage on that pull. So much of your entire damage is going to be on that pull. And pulling off that pull with like zero deaths is also just going to pretty much ensure you time the key barring disaster later on. Like if you're doing 20% of your trash in one pull or something, something ridiculous, right? Um, you're going to probably time the key uh, as long as you don't have a huge disaster. So just getting through that pull and doing the most damage possible can also be a really good thing. Some people view that as pad. Some people view that as not mattering, but I do not view it that way because you killing that pull 10 seconds faster uh, than what you did already or killing off some of these lower health mobs a little bit faster than they would have died uh, could ultimately end up saving you deaths or saving you a wipe. You know, you don't know. So, uh, it, it's a way to be defensive while being offensive. So uh, I think I would also factor that in. And, and basically, let's just factor in the dungeon. I think ultimately what's cool about this is that in the War Within, it's possible, you know, they, they could also just tune this. They could just increase the damage of Final Reckoning or whatever, or the damage that it amplifies by 5%, and then you just probably pick Final Reckoning every time. But um, right now, if it goes like this into the War Within, right, uh, one thing interesting is you could might have a different loadout for each dungeon, right? That's kind of interesting because certain dungeons do not lend themselves to pulling big. And so it could just be flat out better to have execution sentence. Whereas another dungeon uh, it might have a pull at the start that you pull 20% of your trash and then you take final reckoning. So I just think, I think that's interesting I, for me as a content creator too, you know, it would be cool if I actually, cause normally I say, Hey, this is the mythic plus build, but if it's like, Hey, this is this dungeon build. This is this dungeon build. This is this dungeon build. You know, I think that's actually kind of more interesting personally. So, uh, and of course you never have to do that, right? You can always just play the one you want to play ultimately because not all of them, you know, including myself, right? Not all of us are like professional players and stuff like that, that are, uh, you know, doing the MDI or doing the TGP. So uh, it doesn't matter uh, to most of us, I would say, but you know, you could still 
want to play like the best players do. And, you know, that's what I'm here to try to help people do. So uh, that's going to be it for this one. Just kind of wanted to, uh, you know, elaborate on the execution sentence versus final reckoning stuff. Uh, as always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. If you're already a subscriber, I encourage you to check out the Patreon. Other than that, everybody have a good one.